Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to talk about my uh, book, which I have done together with Vladimir Kundarenko from KU. Uh, and uh, we will uh, speak about uh, topological conservation. Uh, this notion was uh, idea at the beginning of the 20th century and uh, was called uh, permutation uh, permutable uh, methods. And uh, this one uh, was done in the problem of studying uh, complex polynomials uh, and the following theorem holds uh, uh, let f and g to polynomials uh, if uh, the entire function h is permutable with them, then h cannot be transcendental. Uh, this means that it cannot be defined uh, through the complex plane with the point that infinity is an essential. Uh, as it's really and as usual doing, uh, consider topological conjugation it means permutable uh, functions uh, when, where h, I was talking about, uh, is the uh, homomorphism of the internet. Uh, our objects were, we work with the following. Uh, first is usual template. Uh, defined on the interval 0, 1. And another is uh, a piecewise linear map, which is defined also at 0, 1, uh, whose uh, graph is on the picture, on the, as the right. So it's increased and decreased, but its maximum point is, is not uh, half, but somewhere between 0 and 1. But, uh, as a part of our motivation, is, it's the following. It's known that our tent map F is supposed to conjugate with the following G and correspond uh, to the monomorphism. It's also known as, and it's easy to be written. And that's why it's natural to us what will happen if we change that parabola to this last linear map. It is that we are doing. Uh, this problem, uh, our problem is not new. It was uh, solved for some time for American mathematicians. And uh, some properties of conjugate uh, homomorphisms. Homomorphism can be written out, which I'm doing now. Uh, and uh, some properties are here. Uh, first two are almost complex and uh, uh, says and force uh, other forms. The derivative <coughs> if it exists, then it equals either zero or positive infinity, and also a derivative equals zero or almost everywhere at zero one in the sense of uh, the x mirror. Uh, so this. Uh, the last two properties uh, shows that uh, H is quite complicated to make it, and it, it starting is, should be interesting. <coughs> so our problems which we are solving are the following. Uh, first, we find H numerically for some fixed B. Then we study uh, the question of its uh, derivative and try to check or uh, refine some of its properties uh, connected to its differentiability. Then we try to use uh, methods of uh, linear functional equations uh, and try to get formulas for H. Typically, as, as about this third step, uh, it's almost obvious that uh, we will fail, and we really fail, because we see the properties of H that to us, and uh, they show that this, uh, there is no quite good formulas for H with such properties. That's why we will ha have some difficulties with our one step of uh, obtaining this 
evident or explicit formulas, but nevertheless we try to see the problems we have. There is a difference by idealism. If you have the same, uh, I think it's the same derivatives and uh, the problems, you have absolutely continuous controversy. At least as you have some regularities and problems. Yes. That's a difference from the criteria. And in certain senses, that is uh, sufficient. But it's Otherwise, it's single. So, sorry, there's a lot. Otherwise, it's single. Uh, yes, but. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. The, the, sorry for the Okay. Uh, the first uh, step will be uh, ask, we solve the equation from definition of topological conjugation mm -hmm. and uh, try to find and really find uh, non monotonic solutions of it. So uh, this will be a map which defines topological conjugation, but nevertheless it will be a map which is solution of uh, response functional equation. And uh, the fifth and the last total problem is that we change uh, G to an arbitrary piece of ice linear map and we want H which uh, conjugates F and G to be also piece of ice linear maps, but this is the case. So it is our maps, it's our list of problems and I will tell something about the solution. So the first goal is to find numerically H, which conjugates F and G. F is 10th map. Uh, G is 10th map, but, but which is not symmetrical. And we show the first one that uh, H of 0 is 0. It means that H increases, because it has H inevitable is either increase or decrease, but we show that it increases. Uh, if we present the reasons which can get H or pre image of any point X0 uh, if H at X0 is known. So this commutative diagram should be understandable, I hope. It means that F increase and decrease then we can find two points which goes to x0 under f. Also, we know h of x0 h at x0 is known. Then we get two pre-images of h of x0 under f e. And we know that h increase, so we get h at x first and x second, which are pre-images of x0. And this reason means, as we have start from zero and also from from one can define uh, h or maybe not define but can find or get a possibility to find h at any set a n uh, or for fractions rational numbers with denominator which is power of two now i present the graphs so we have uh, fixed F, uh, V, B, e and 3 fours. Then we find H at half, then at H at quarter and 3 quarters, then H uh, at uh, fractions with the denominator <coughs> 8. And uh, if we continue this process, we number to get the last graph, which is right at the bottom. Uh, which is uh, gets, uh, like which lets us to see that uh, properties of H are really complicated. Uh, this curve on the graph uh, is uh, of fractal nature. If we see it from half to one uh, or under X, then uh, this part repeats, it is repeated from point to left from quarter to half, then from eighth to quarter, from one sixteenth to h, eight eighths, and so on. So it's the graph of h. For the reason means we may fix this uh, h 
uh, we can recalculate uh, it to another P and we will do it some number of times. Uh, now we are going to study properties of derivatives of H and I go back to the form. As we have such approximations of H, uh, we have some points on it. And we can consider derivatives of these approximations and we do this. Uh, now n is num number of steps we have done. For example, h uh, number two is a uh, is a wise linear distribution goes through three points at zero power. Uh, for n is three goes through uh, fractions with denominator four, two to the power n minus one and so on. The formula lemma holds. If we write x uh, as 0, comma, as first of 2 and so on, it's by the decomposition, then uh, the derivative of hn will be the product of alpha is uh, alpha i's. And uh, each alpha is uh, as by lemma, according to lemma, according to formula third, can be defined as follows. So the results are the following. If V, which is maximum x coordinate of maximum of second mapping is less than half than for every x uh, rational number with dominator whose power uh, which is power of 2 uh, then a limit of uh, derivatives of summation exists in at equals infinity and uh, if we is greater than half then the same limit equals at equals 0 uh, this reason is to how we prove lemma can be generalized to any rational number that theorem 2 says that a logical result for rational number also holds and you can see theorem 2. We have interesting power. So if you pay attention to it for theorem 2 one more, if V is smaller than half than for any rational what is V can you write this? And V is uh, the right mapping is mm -hmm. that that V is one. Okay. So V is a breakpoint. Sorry? Breakpoint. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we see that in the V is smaller than half and uh, at every rational number the derivative is infinity and if V is greater than half then the derivative is zero. But nevertheless, it's not our fault, but we know that derivative is zero almost everywhere. So if V is smaller than half, it means that derivative is almost everywhere zero, but nevertheless at any rational point is infinity. So that is, there is no contradiction here because still a measure of rational points are, is zero, but nevertheless it shows some strange interesting properties of uh, the topological conjugation map H. Then I go to uh, another problem we will solve, uh, and it's the following. If we get extreme formulas for H and 
to subsurface for F and FB. And if you write the definition of topological coupled conjugation of uh, F and FB, then we have the following system of uh, linear, linear functional equations, which is number four. And uh, we can show that any continuous solution of this system is uh, invertible. So any continuous solution gives uh, the topology of conjugation. Uh, there is well known uh, theory of uh, solving uh, linear functional equations, and we can try to solve one equation and substitute its solution into another equation and then solve. And uh, we hope to, we, we may hope to find the explicit formula for H in such a way. For example, if we solve the first of these two equations, uh, we get the five equation, the fifth equation, H of X is, is X to the power negative uh, E of logarithms in two times omega of logarithms of X base 2, where uh, omega is an arbitrary function with period 1. Suddenly, if it goes from uh, 0 to 1, then the uh, logarithm is goes from negative infinity to 0. But periodical function omega uh, should be found. And if it try to find, to put this fifth formula to uh, second equation of 4, we get the full functional equation is not trivial, and there is no good theory of finding solutions of such equation. So, it is a trouble which not let us to uh, get explicit formula for home. But nevertheless, uh, earlier we have found uh, explicit, we have found numerically values of H. And if we have formula number 5, then we can find also numerically uh, values of omega. Uh, which will be really solution of the last that complicated functional equation. And also for his straight force, the graph of omega is the following. So omega is periodical function. So the right graph for background of omega goes between 0 and 1. And then it repeats periodically. So also we have, we see the complicated function. And certainly, as H is complicated and H is represented by the formula of 5, its complication should be go from omega and is really happens. If we do another way, if we solve second equation and then try to find uh, arbitrary function from the first equation, we obtain something a bit more complicated if right, but uh, ideally the same. The following A, the following omega will be as in this picture. And we can do the following. Certainly this picture and the picture, uh, the picture power for omega uh, was obtained for a huge uh, set of arguments of H. And from that huge set, arguments of omega was obtained, uh, were obtained. But also we can find uh, approximations of, for omega like we found approximations of H. So I will try to remind a bit. We will find H at some sets that considered piecewise linear mapping, uh, which was the summation of H. If it is the same for omega, and 
get approximations for age, then this approximation does not begin on at all. <coughs> so if it, uh, this is a set approximation of age obtained from approximation of matter, then for different V, we see that for small V, uh, approximation of age isn't not on, but with an increase of number of points, that will be false. The next and the last problem we are solving is the following. We want to solve, uh, to find non-monotone solutions of uh, functional equations from definition of commutative diagram. Uh, we write the following commutative diagram and reduce our problem to the function of equation number 8. H of f is f of h, where h is unknown function, but uh, not necessarily monotone. We prove the following. No, no, no. Not proof. We, we have some examples of solutions of this H function of equation. For example, if h is x, h of x is x for any x is solution. Uh, if h is any iteration of f, then simply is solution. And we prove the following theorem, which, des which describes any solution of h which commutes with f. And theorem is here. Any uh, non constant h has a following form h is piecewise linear, and for some even k, even means also the integer. A tangent of h is either k or minus k, f, f, and h increases with uh, y coordinate from 0 to 1, or uh, decreases from 1 to 0. Mm -hmm. Sorry? No, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. what you say. Uh, so we, we have some interval um, right to 0 h increase. Then uh, and uh, tangent is k. Then h degrees. Then tangent minus k. So what's the geometric meaning of these two things? Because the tangent is single. Mm -hmm. So I'm writing the uh, drawing h. Okay. De de this increase, then decrease, increase, decrease, and so on. Tangent here is k, here is negative. k is 2, s, s is negative. And that's what you may be? No, no, it's, it's without me. It's solution of a dysfunctional equation that is not me here. Oh, it's, uh, it's h of f is f of h. Ah, so you are ca calculating non invertible centralizers? Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes. So, no, that, that, that. I started from suddenly from f. Right, right. From f, f to right. v, then I continued and I see that if we connect one more arrow here and one more arrow here, I get, I get this diagram which connects f and f. If F as a polygon is less linear and H is continuously differentiable uh, on some intervals, then H is less linear. So, so you are in the space in the category of piecewise linear guys, and you want to conjugate it with the third yes. one, right? Yes. Yes. And I see that uh, I say that if uh, that, that conjugation is differentiable on, on, on some interval, then it's immediately piecewise linear. Okay. 
Uh, I'm repeating my question. Did you kind of, kind of check it against Lipschitz criteria? Because mm -hmm. Lipschitz tells you that you need to check derivatives of periodic orbits, and if they match, then you get differential equations. And I think in your, it's it's a different. I mean, it, it's not exactly the same, but it should match with with Lipschitz. Uh, I have I haven't used. Uh, I said you haven't used it, but but this is a central fact of the theory that the derivatives at the, at the periodic points are modulated. Of differential contrast. So you found some properties of differential contrast, and it's natural to see how those models are, are appear. But anyway, the problem is that Tentman has uh, a lot of periodical points. Exactly. That we cannot exactly, but if your condition is satisfied, then automatically if she's going and I, suspect, I, I, I expect it to be equivalent. Yes. I expect that in this case, uh, this is equivalent to the Lipschitz condition. And that's, that would be interesting to see. I'm not criticizing your result. I'm just saying that it's, it would be nice to see it in the context of what people understand. Thank you very much for such a uh, two minutes, maybe. So not one. Yes. Not more, so, uh, only two promulgation and by finish. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, F and G are this one, uh, if A F is a, the topology is specialized linear and uh, we have following, then increasing part of G defines this decreasing part. And also decreasing part of G defines its increasing part right. and two more uh, conditions for derivative. So the derivative of the fixed point of second iteration should be. And I'm very thankful for the question. Okay, uh, short question, short answer, please. Oh. Uh, in uh, one your mind result, uh, the last number is k divided by 2 minus, minus 10, 10. What is 10? What is, is 10? Uh, <laughs> uh, from what this 10 came? 2 minus 10 maybe is this is spring. Spring. Yes. 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 k over 2 minus what? Minus 1? Minus 1. Yes. Minus minus one. one. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, let us thank speaker again.